It was after talking with John Florence about some of his near makes at big Himalayas that I suggested he tried some of these fins. To see him using these fins the past winter was super validating. So Kai says he told John John all about this new type of fin. And I went to the Futures website to have a look and see what John John says about it. I'll show you that in just a moment. But I do think no matter who came first with this whole concept, this type of fin setup is going to become more and more popular based on my test riding of these Kai fins and also we'll talk about how the JJF big wave fins surf as well. So quick recap, with the new style of quad fins, especially for big wave boards, it's smaller on the front and bigger on the back, like a Twinzer. So on the Futures fin side, it says, after a few near misses of what might have been the waves of John John's life, he came to us with this design idea. Let's flip the normal quad set around so the smaller fins are up front for speed and the larger fins are in the back for control. This should hold my tail in while providing enough stability with the G10 construction to hold an edge down the line. The speed felt was next level. So who came first? Was it John or Kai? If you know guys, if Kai or John are watching this video, please let me know. So I really enjoyed my Kai test riding and I thought it'd be great to have a set of John John Florence big wave fins. A friend of mine, Frank, sent me a link to a video about them. I go onto the website here and believe it or not, if you sort from most expensive to least expensive, the John John Florence Big Wave Quads come up as the most expensive Futures fins. They are $399.95 Australian, which is about 250 US dollars. And my first thought is, maybe I don't need to try these. I mean, that is a lot of money. It's like half a surfboard. So I went ahead and purchased some anyway, just so that I could share my experience with them for you. And I tell you what, I found out something really interesting about the difference between the John John Florence fins and the Kai fins. More on that in just a sec. So here they are. They arrived very quickly. They were easy to order. Actually, if you're in Australia, much easier to order than it was for me to order these Kai fins. But I was just looking at the website to make this video and I noticed they're sold out already. So I really think there's a trend happening. These fins and these fins are both sold out. And I think I know why. So quick recap. The Kai fins were about $225 US. The John John fins are about $250 US. I did get free shipping on these. I had to pay for shipping on these. They both came within a week, which is great if they're in stock. John John says the front fins, which are smaller, are for speed and the back fins, which are bigger, are for control. Kai says the front fins are for stability and the back fins are for maneuverability. I've only been riding quads for the last two weeks and one of these sets is a clear winner. And it's not because of the construction, they're both well made. The future set is G10 fiberglass, which means it's pretty stiff and it flexes back to its position quickly. The Kai fin is carbon fiber, so it's even stiffer and it actually holds its shape more. So I can see why that would be good for big wave boards. Both of these constructions are fine. When it comes to going into the fin box, the Kai's need a little bit of massaging and the Futures went perfectly into every board I tried them in. Now the foil of the fin brings up an interesting situation. The front fin on the Kai, pretty flat on the inside, so it's really easy to know what side that goes on. The back fin is an 80-20 foil, so it's very obvious which side this goes on. When it comes to the Futures, the front fin is an 80-20 foil, so again, it's pretty easy to see which side that goes on. Where it gets interesting is the back fin because it's a 50-50 foil, which means it's symmetrical. But if you're using futures, then you'll know that the cant, the angle of the fin, is built into the fin, not the box. So if you put the fins together, it's really the only way to know which side is which. So that one is showing you the left and the right. If you put them in the wrong way, you'll see that they're actually leaning into each other. Now, the first time I tried these fins, and I feel a little silly for saying this, I actually put them with the JF on the outside because they looked identical. And what you do need to do is put them with the Futures on the outside. So I was actually riding them a little bit like that, and they should have been like that. It didn't feel great, and I'm sure I'm probably not a good enough surfer to notice the difference, but when I noticed they were in incorrectly and changed it, at least psychologically it felt better. So be careful if you get these fins to make sure that you put the Futures emblem on the outside for the rear fins. 
In terms of design, big wave fins have come a long way because most of them used to be just really plain, like black or just plain G10 fiberglass look. Obviously the red ones are quite bright and interesting and I could see how that would be a good safety feature. Uh, the Kai fins, they've got a pretty cool pastel 80s vibe. I can see they have that windsurfing heritage. So of course, which color do you prefer? I guess that doesn't matter, but I'll tell you what, the way they surf will make more of a difference than the way they look. When you first get the fins, they do look small and they are small. Now I happen to have a set of John John thrusters, one of my favorite thruster sets. And I checked the surface area of these versus the John John big wave quads. And what I found, and I hope I'm right, the thrusters are about 13% more surface area. But with the quads, you're getting more fins. So you're spreading that fin surface across more area. So theoretically, the quads should have a little less drag but still give you plenty of control because you've got a lot of fins in a lot of places. I thought it'd be interesting to compare the JJF Big Wave quads to the normal quads that I use. My favorite set of quads has been the NVS Apex series. These are also G10 and very precise. What I found was the NVS set of Peregrine Large and JL Trailer are actually 22% bigger, so 22% more surface area, which will explain why they surf so differently. In fact, when you lay the fins on top of each other, it's immediately obvious just how much smaller those front fins are, and the back fins are still larger on the traditional set, which usually has smaller than the front fins. So we've established that these big wave quads are smaller than the other set of quads. They're smaller than a set of thrusters. But how does the Kai big wave quad compare to the JJF big wave quad for size? Well, when you lay them out on top of each other, you get a pretty clear picture that the Kai quads are a little bit bigger than the John John quads. They actually extend further out on the front fin and they're a little more raked and they're also a bit taller and the whole leading edge is bigger on the Kai quad. So by my calculations, there's about 7% bigger fin for the Kai set than the John John. And that's gonna make a really big difference when you surf these fins. When you line up the fins, you'll see that the Kai's are far more raked back on the front fin and the John John's are more upright on the front fin. On the back fin, the Kai's are more upright and the John John's more raked. So the distance between the tips is much closer on the Kai set. Of course, one of the challenges if you have big wave fins and even a big wave board is you need big waves to be able to ride them in. And that doesn't happen all the time where I live. So in the meantime, while I've been waiting for big waves, I actually took them out on a smaller board because Kai says his work from two to 80 feet. Now the future site is very clear. They say these John John fins are for good waves, big waves. So I didn't have any expectations on how they would perform in smaller waves, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. And here's what I found. I know what you're thinking. Why would I put these big wave fins in a six foot fire wire seaside for small wave groveling? And I took them out in clean one foot waves. What I noticed was it was easy to paddle around. There wasn't a lot of friction on it. It did feel better than when I tried the Mikado quad set, which has a huge front fin. It just felt way too stiff. I ride mostly twin fins, so I actually liked the slightly loose feeling, but it didn't have as much drive as I'm used to with a normal set of quads. So whilst they do work, they don't work really well with this board. So there's nothing wrong with them, but they don't give that drive. And I did notice when I'm watching the footage back of my surf, it drifts slightly when I take off on the wave. So it works, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, this is a 7.6 step up. It's an SJS custom quad fish. And I got to ride these fins in a pretty reasonable size. I'd say it was a four to six foot waves. And it felt great. The first time I took it out, I wasn't feeling well and I'd actually put the rear fins in the wrong way and it felt wonky uh, and I wasn't able to catch waves comfortably. But the second surf, the third surf, I was really getting comfortable and I actually recorded the fastest wave I've ever got on this board. So I think a lot of this has to do with the balance between control and the energy in the wave. It didn't slide out at all, it felt super comfortable and I would have no hesitation saying, look in a seven foot six board with a narrower tail, these fins really start to come alive. So I got to try the John John fins in my eight foot two triple stringer vouch big wave board. And I got to ride it in some pretty big waves. I'm guessing the waves are about six or seven feet in a semi-cyclonic swell here in Noosa. And what I discovered is 
These fins work really well in this board. In fact, the fins I used to use in this board were probably about 22% more surface area and they were a bit stiff. It definitely had grip and went down the line, but what I noticed with these fins is it was easier to turn and it flowed better. It was a really enjoyable ride. It also had less resistance for paddling. It just felt perfect. I'd already done most of my testing. I'd already ridden the Seaside, I'd ridden the 7.6, I'd ridden the 8.2, but you know, the swell's been running every day here in Noosa, so I popped my seven foot Nautilus on my e-bike, paddled down and went out to Tea Tree and Nationals and tried the John John big wave fins in this seven foot Nautilus. And gee, this was interesting. It paddles around fine. I could catch the waves fine. It didn't slide out. I got on some pretty fast runners down through that Nationals car park. And when I was on the wave, it didn't feel like it had enough drive. It didn't feel like I was able to really push on the bottom and get back up to the top of the wave as easily as I thought. But when I got back home and I synchronized my rip curl watch, I noticed that I actually got a new top speed for this board. And I've surfed this board about 18 or 19 times. So I was surprised. But I think for this board, I'm gonna go with the traditional quads. I think at seven foot, it's on the lower side of the range of these fins. And so in summary, I don't think these fins are good for groveling. I don't think they're perfect for an everyday board. I do think they start to come into their own from that gun and then big wave board. The bigger the board, the narrower the tail, the better these John John fins go. So we have to make a choice, John Johns or Kai's. Now, Kai says this will change the way you surf. I do think there's some merit to the small fronts and the large rears. I really enjoyed testing these on all different boards. In fact, I think I've sold a couple of quad fin boards that were a bit benign or a bit stiff that if I had surfed with these fins, it would have made it come alive and perhaps I should have kept those boards. I would say for the John John fins, the bigger the board, the narrower the tail, the better they're gonna feel. So which fins am I gonna bet on? The red or the black? Having ridden both sets in four different boards, I'm pretty confident with my choice. Now I do love John John and he's obviously a world champion and amazing and Futures is a huge company and they're very precise and they, they look fine. But I'm going with Kai. I think Kai was probably at the forefront of the development of this fin style. It's clearly come from the windsurfing heritage, but I also like that these fins are bigger than these fins. I also like that the front fin on these is more raked and the back fin is more forward. That actually brings them closer together. So I think these surf a little more like a twin fin, which is what I'm used to surfing. And here's the big difference. I believe the range of waves that you can surf these fins on is bigger and the type of board you can surf them on in, is bigger. So if you're a small rider and you have a big gun and that's all you need them for, by all means go with these. But they're also very, very expensive, <laughs> but availability is pretty good. If you're a bigger person or you have smaller boards and you wanna try them out on your everyday quad, then get the Kai's. I think you'll really will change the way you surf, like Kai says. I also made a video just on these fins, if you wanna check that out, where I talk about how I got these fins. And at the moment, as we make this video, both of these sets are sold out, so if it's just down to availability, maybe that'll make the choice for you, but my money's on the Kai's.